Where do you go after you've been an oncology nurse for 20 years, seeing the same old horrible results again and again? Why the island of Kauai, of course, which is where my guest Valerie Warwick now resides as she helps people around the world fight their cancer naturally instead of with toxic treatments. There's a lot that's flawed with allopathic oncology. The substances they use are extremely toxic and they use them in a way that tears down the immune system to the point that the patient can't recover. There's no balance. There's no yin yang. So you can't just tear down, tear down, tear down and then expect health to flourish from that and damage the immune system. The immune system is what you need to heal. You need to restore your immune system. The body knows how to heal. I think in allopathic medicine, we've forgotten that. We've forgotten that the body knows how to work. And so piling on more toxins on the body is not gonna bring healing. Valerie has set up her practice at mywellnesstutor.com where she guides people through their journey fighting cancer. One of the weapons she likes to use is a new form of testing called RGCC testing. The first thing I tell them is to test, don't guess, test. So testing is really important. So there's a lot of different tests that you can incorporate to give you information you need to create a treatment plan that is individual for you because no two cancers are the same. Even the same quote unquote, two estrogen driven breast cancers may have different causes. So you really need to test to get to the root cause of the um, chronic inflammation. And then from there, remove the obstacles to health and restore the immune system. So the first test that I speak with people about is the RGCC test. The RGCC is a simple blood test. The blood is sent over to their lab in Greece. The results come back in 10 to 14 days. The first thing they do is they count how many circulating cancer stem cells per mill of blood that you have. It's really important to know that number because that will give you a baseline. So for example, say you come up with seven cancer cells per mill of blood, and these are stem cells. These are the cells that have the potential to migrate to other organs of the body and set up new tumors. PET scans, CAT scans, colonoscopies, um, MRIs, mammograms, they only show tumors that are already formed. So that's, those are really late detection tools. Even though they're touted as early detection tools, they're really late. So you wanna look at those circulating cancer stem cells and keep track of them. If that number is going up, you know that you're missing something and you need to change your plan. If that number is going down, that means you're on the right track. RGCC looks at about 50 chemotherapies, 50 immune quote unquote therapies or the small molecular weight molecules. These are some of the new substances they've come out called immune therapy or targeted therapy and about 50 natural substances. So it looks at about 150 substances. Once they isolate the circulating cancer stem cells, they grow them in the lab. They put them in the Petri dish and individually test each substance separately. At the 48 hour mark, they look at that Petri dish and say, okay, how many cancer cells were killed? So that information is gathered up. All the 150 substances are displayed in a really clear way using a graph bar, using the spoken word, and then using an assessment chart. So three different ways you get that, those results and you're able to see which are the most effective substances to pull together a comprehensive treatment plan in treating your personal cancer. RGCC sounds like a great test. So of course modern medicine would be all over it, right? Eh, not so fast. If, a, for example, a woman has had breast cancer and they've had a mastectomy and they've removed, say, many lymph nodes, and they say, we got all the cancer in the breast. Um, we found a couple of lymph nodes that had cancer in them. It's really not telling you the whole picture. You already have circulating cancer stem cells in your blood. They're already there. So this is why they recommend chemotherapy. 
because they know that they're already in your bloodstream. But studies are showing that actually chemotherapy makes circulating cancer stem cells more resistant because cancer cells have the ability to adapt and build resistance, resistant to drugs, and the very drugs they're giving you, makes them more resistant. So actually you may be doing yourself a real disservice by getting chemotherapy that's going to make your cancer stem cells more resistant. Well, not all doctors are going to like a test that shows that chemo doesn't kill cancer stem cells, but at least natural practitioners and guides like Valerie can show you what does. The thing that treats cancer stem cells is changing the body's terrain, keeping your body alkaline, eating the right foods, getting oxygen and exercise will turn off far more bad genes. The natural substances are what kills the circulating cancer stem cells. RGCC testing is a bit pricey at 1,900 euro or around $2,300, but as Valerie sees it, it can be the information that allows patients to get ahead of their disease. Petri dish does have its limitations because it doesn't measure the whole body's immune response to that. But yeah, it does give us an indication that natural substances kill cancer. You know, they, and we know that. I mean, it's just really, it's common sense. Thank you.